Okay, so we're going to do the second, we're going to build another widget now. And we're going to use Google News, uh, an RSS feed from Google News to build this a custom news engine. So, what we want to do is, once again, we go to widgetbox, widgetbox.com, and we make widget over here, once we're signed in. Again, we're going to build from blog slash feed. And at this stage, now we go to Google News. And supposing we had a kind of a UFO website, something like that. So what we might do is we might do a search for UFO sighting, something that would bring us the latest news on the latest um, UFO sightings around the place. That would be a cool thing for a UFO website to have, to have the latest sightings there, you know. So we did a search, and one of the great things about Google News, one of the great things about Google, is that this thing over here. See this? You can collect the news from a particular search query as an RSS feed. So you can just right-click that, and once again, copy link location, or copy target link, whatever it's called in Internet Explorer. And so we go back to widget box, and we add in that RSS feed here. And we click continue. And so now, just like in the first video, um, we have our own widget uh, built here using that RSS feed. That's pretty cool. Look at this. UFO sighted in Boston and I don't know what this is, Thailand or someplace. San Jose. And so, just like before, we um, make this thing look whatever way we want to. We can stick in the first images for applicable. And actually, yeah, this doesn't seem to work. The images don't seem to work from a Google News or SS feed, so oh well, not to worry. And so we can stick in we can stick our own um the path to our own logo here if we want to. But so that Google don't get mad at us, we'll just leave Google News there. Branding the branding the whole thing. And so we add a description here. Just like before, you can add in tags, etc., etc. And so we go to publish, publish widget over here. And so here's the. We could have changed this here title as well in the previous screen to make it look a little bit more professional, what have you. So at this stage, once again, we just go to publish widget. On the blog post, I'll talk about some other platforms, how to embed them to some other platforms. So, once again, once that thing is processed, you just got to get widget here. Now then, this time we don't want any of this stuff before we stuck it onto Facebook, but we don't, any and we, we don't want any of that stuff this time. We want the embed code, and we can grab this either in Flash or JavaScript. Um, I prefer it in JavaScript. I just think it's more native, but I'm, I'm not sure. I could be totally wrong there, but I just think it's more native to what we're doing than a packaged um, Flash, package Flash thing. So you simply go to your WordPress website and log in. And this is the dashboard. This is the back end of WordPress. And we go to Design. We're here. And then we go into widgets over here. And the widget screen, the widget that you're looking for in this case is like a blank widget. Okay? So in WordPress that's called text. In other stuff it'd simply be called new, you know. Or whatever. So we simply add a new text widget there. And we come down here. And now we can copy in the embed code that Widgetbox gave us. 
right down here. So that's all the JavaScript there. Now this thing is ready to go. So we just hit change and we hit save. And as per usual with these things, you hope that it works first time. And if it doesn't, you just come back in and do it again. And so, let's just have a look at our website now and see if this thing has come out first time. Replace. So, looks pretty cool, I think. And so, if you're coming to this from YouTube, um, have a link. Have a look at the more info bit, and we'll show you where this article is at on cmsware.com about building widgets.